Hello and welcome. Not too long ago, we all celebrated when our sports stars brought back medals from the London Olympics. Samuke Lohatebe was among these fantastic South Africans. He won gold in the 100-meter relay at the Paralympics. But the 23-year-old runner wasn't born disabled. He tragically lost both his arms in a freak accident at the tender age of nine. But let me tell you, his sterling performance in London has set him up for even greater things in life. Even when Samuke Lohatebe was a little boy, athletics seemed to run through his blood. From grade one, I was doing athletics, I played soccer. Um, I was good at both, actually, you know, but I mean, township good, not like, you know, world class good. Among the kids, we've always been, you know, a sporty family, so it's something that um, I grew up with. I mean, what else is there to do in the township if you're not going to school or visiting family? You play. Like most young boys, nine-year-old Samukelo and his friends spent a great deal of time outdoors. But one terrible day, their childhood game almost turned lethal. We took those coiled wires and we were throwing them over electric wires. And mine got stuck, so it was hanging, and I had to then go get it down so that the next person can throw. And that was basically the last thing I held with my hand. They all thought that they were telephone wires, like I thought they were telephone wires. So everyone thought they were telephone wires until that day. Tragically, the wires Samukelo was playing with were active with electricity. 11,000 volts of raw electricity through his little body, leaving him almost lifeless on the ground. I forget about the right? Samukelo was rushed to hospital, his arms and body covered in burns. He would go through a great deal of suffering in the months to follow. As time went on, as I was slowly starting to recover, then we got to a point where like the hands were so damaged from the accident that it was actually starting to eat away the skin and the bones and the meat and everything. And they're like, look, dude, this is going to continue all the way up and eventually you're going to die from it. Or we can stop it by amputating the part that's already dead and basically try and save you. The doctors had no other choice. Samukelo's precious arms had to be amputated to save him from deadly infection. Months passed and miraculously, the little boy recovered fully. I could be depressed that, oh my word, I just lost my hands and overlooked the fact that I just survived something that nobody actually survives, 11,000 volts of electricity. People don't just make it out of that. You know what I mean? So I had to be grateful more than anything. So I was like, well, my life is going to be different now, but I will make sure that it works to my advantage. While Samukelo lost his arms, he never lost his passion for life. At sports events, he made sure that he was better and faster than the rest of his able-bodied schoolmates. Well, 2005, I started seeing some of my friends going overseas and getting national colors, you know, so I'm like, oh, okay, I'd love to do that one day. So the following year, I then went on to win eight gold medals at national champs, broke five SA records. You know, I did as many events as I could to get as many medals and break as many records as I can in the hope that I'd make the national team, you know, which I did. By this year, he had already collected a host of regional and national medals. Now, 23 years old, 
he finally qualified for the 2012 Paralympics in London. I was so nervous, like my heart was pounding so much before we got in the stadium doing the warm up and everything. But the moment we walked in, I mean, I just walked in there and I looked around and I was like, wow, over 80,000 people. And they're just here to watch us do what we do best. I mean, just everything then just settled down, the nerves, the heart rate, like, you know, I was more relaxed now that I was in there, you know, and the crowd is amazing. With his family and the rest of the country waiting with bated breath for the race to begin, Samukelo was the first to get out of the starting blocks, setting Team South Africa up for record-breaking victory in the 100-meter men's relay. It was, it was the best feeling. I mean, when I saw that Oscar came first, I was jumping around, going crazy. And when I got to that side, I realized it was a world record, 4178, and I lost my mind. I just started screaming around, and you know, it was, it was so insane. Athletics gold medal in the relay, Samkelo Radebe, 100,000 rand. Overnight, Samukelo became a household name. We got back there and there were so many people, the stage was set up there. You know, my family was there, neighbors were there, schools from my neighborhood were there and I honestly didn't expect any of that. And, you know, as time goes, I sort of started realizing how big this achievement is and how proud people really are of, you know, what I've achieved. A little boy who went through terrible trauma. Now, a national hero who proved anything is possible with the right frame of mind. He has a positive attitude. Uh, he's a go-getter. Like whatever goals he set for himself, he always achieved them. Um, I think that's his strong part um, of who he is. Number one, never give up. No matter what the situation is, stay positive. That's what I would say I've learned from from this guy. Samukelo Khatebe's mission isn't about to come to an end. He continues traveling the world to improve his international ranking. Coming up, a smart move gives Soweto children a reason to believe.